we need to come to a point where we realize that our brains are too small to resolve all of our life's issues. They can, it, the, the brain can resolve some, but there are some that God has preserved for himself. Only him. Moses from his mother's womb was an answer to prayer. Let me tell you something. You are an answer to somebody's prayer. That there's no one person that's an accident of procreation. Even people born out of rape. The moment the rape... <laughs> and don't ask me the question, why, you know, why will God put his purpose in rape? God is God. He walks through anything, including evil. So I don't know where you have been or where you are coming from. I need you to understand that whether God has always been in your life or you have shut him out, he's still working. Where you have been is part of your preparation for destiny. Whether it's speed or palace, notwithstanding, God still wants to do his will. God still wants to do his will. And I see this here, some people are on their way to their burning bush. Some people... Uh, uh, this message will only remind you of your burning bush because you already have had one. You, you already had your experience. But some people, this year, God will give you a burning bush experience. I said, God will give you a burning bush experience. Say a better amen. amen. Or say a better amen. amen. See, uh, one, one, one of the, the most important truths about life is that God is part of everyone's life, whether you know him or not. Whether you are in the will of God for your life or not, God is still interested in you and he's still working. You can't have something that is an extension of you and look away completely. The Bible says his hunger may last but for a while, but his mercy endures forever. Mm -hmm.